Dear brothers, sisters, and friends in Christ Jesus, we have gathered together spiritually this evening to be with our Saviour and Lord Jesus Christ. In the 17th century, Jesus appeared to Saint Margaret Mary, his heart all ablaze with flames of divine love, and speaking to her his memorable words addressed to all of humanity. Behold my divine heart, which loves you so much that it cannot contain within itself the flames of its ardent love. In a few moments, that very same Jesus, with his most sacred heart, all grace, love and divine mercy, will be present on our altar here. Let us draw close to our beloved Saviour Jesus and His Sacred Heart, ever attentive to our calls, ever responsive to our appeals. And now, with a renewed longing for more of His love, presence and power in our lives, let us sing and welcome Him and enter into His presence with the hymn more love, more power. Thank you. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to thee, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers, sisters and friends in Christ Jesus, in the Gospel text we have just heard, we encounter a tender, loving, divine call, the call of our beloved Saviour and Lord Jesus Christ to be disciples of his Sacred Heart, to be disciples after his Sacred Heart. From the tone and tenor of the blessed words spoken by our Lord, we recognize that this is a call emanating from the very depths of his loving heart. Indeed, Jesus makes a direct reference to his own Sacred Heart. So I encourage you, dear friends, this evening, even as you hear this reflection, to do so gazing upon the Sacred Heart of Jesus, who is present here in the Most Blessed Sacrament, and then to respond to the call of His Heart, overflowing with grace, love and mercy for each one of us. Jesus presents His divine call to be disciples after His Sacred Heart as a progression of three calls within the One. The first call, Come to me all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. This first call is Jesus' love and concern-filled invitation. Here we see the loving disposition of the heart of our Savior. Jesus has things to tell and teach us, but before speaking to us of anything else, he invites us to come to him and find rest in him. He knows that an exhausted heart and mind, a tired body and soul, would not be able to comprehend or grasp anything he has to convey. Hence he desires for us firstly to come to him with all our baggage and burdens, trials and crosses, that he may minister to us with his grace, strength and rest. Refreshed and strengthened by His grace, we would then be able to respond to His divine call. Dear friends, who among us this evening is not laboring or heavy laden? Even more so in this time of the crisis of the coronavirus pandemic, Jesus invites us this evening to come to Him. Our gracious, loving, merciful Saviour makes no distinction. Come to me, all he says. His call is for each one of us. So, dear brethren, let us come to him this evening with all our needs, difficulties and adversities, our suffering and pain, our anguish and exhaustion. Let us trust and entrust all our cares and concerns to his most loving heart and find our rest in him. We shall call out to the Lord through the hymn the Lord is near to all who call on Him. Yeah. Mm-hmm.
The second call. Learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. After drawing us to himself, Jesus then proceeds to invite us to this part of his call that we find more challenging and difficult in the weaknesses of our human nature. The learning that is a vital part of our journey of discipleship. Learn from me, Jesus says. He invites us to model our hearts after his heart if we are to be disciples of his sacred heart. Very specifically to learn to be gentle and lowly meek and humble in heart. He taught us by his very own example. Right from the cradle to the grave, this was his disposition, meekness and humility of heart, from which then sprang forth his most generous and loving, complete self-giving, even unto death on the cross. For it is only by becoming meek and humble disciples of Christ that we would then be able to live and fulfill the two greatest teachings and commandments Jesus entrusted us as his disciples. To love God with all our heart, mind, soul and strength and to love our neighbor as our own self. Today let us ask the most sacred heart of Jesus for these graces. The third call, take my yoke upon you, for my yoke is easy and my burden light. Jesus invites us to take his yoke upon ourselves. What is this yoke? It is many things at one and the same time. It is his way of life, the way to eternal life. It is the way of the truths and values of the kingdom of God to be understood, accepted and lived by us so as to establish God's kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. It is the yoke of love and mercy, truth and justice, meekness and humility, purity and holiness and indeed every virtue. This yoke is also to reach out in loving service and charity to our neighbours especially the least of our brethren, in whom we find the Lord himself. The thought of taking upon ourselves the yoke of the Lord can be a daunting one, but Jesus assures us that his yoke is easy and his burden is light. Indeed, this will be our experience as we take upon ourselves the yoke of Jesus. We will find ourselves lightened and set free from the heavy yoke and burden of sin 
Satan and the world. Furthermore, we are not alone in bearing this yoke. Just as a yoke joins two oxen together in the labor of plowing a field, Jesus himself joins with us in bearing the yoke of the kingdom of God. The current pandemic has placed before us many opportunities to be meek and humble and reach out in charity and loving service to everyone around us, especially those not as fortunate as us. Let us ask our Lord for these graces as we sing and pray. Let us now with great trust and confidence entrust ourselves, our families and friends, all who have asked for and are in need of our prayers, Holy Mother Church here in Mumbai and the Universal Church, our city, our state and our nation and all the nations of the world and very specially every individual and institution on the front lines against this pandemic to the most sacred heart of our Saviour, as we pray the litany of the sacred heart of Jesus. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, Son of the Eternal Father, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, formed by the Holy Spirit, Spirit in the womb of the Virgin Mother, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus substantially united to the Word of God, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus infinite majesty, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus sacred temple of God, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus tabernacle of the Most High, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus house of God and gate of heaven, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus burning furnace of charity, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus abode of justice and and love have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, full of goodness and love. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, abyss of all virtues. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, most worthy of all praise. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, King and center of all hearts. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, in whom are all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, in whom dwells the fullness of divinity. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, in whom the Father was well pleased. 
please have mercy on us heart of jesus of whose fullness we have all received have mercy on us heart of jesus desire of the everlasting hills have mercy on us heart of jesus patient and most merciful have mercy on us heart of jesus enriching all who invoke thee have mercy on us heart of jesus fountain of life and holiness have mercy on us heart of jesus propitiation for our sins have mercy on us heart of jesus loaded down with shame have mercy on us heart of jesus bruised for our offenses have mercy on us heart of jesus obedient unto death have mercy on us heart of jesus pierced with the lance have mercy on us heart of jesus source of all consolation have mercy on us heart of jesus our life and resurrection have mercy on us heart of jesus our peace and reconciliation have mercy on us heart of jesus victim of sin have mercy on us heart of jesus salvation of those who trust in thee have mercy on us heart of jesus hope of those who die in thee have mercy on us heart of jesus delight of all the saints have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world spare us o lord lamb of god you take away the sins of the world recently hear us o lord lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us jesus meek and humble of heart make our hearts like unto thine let us pray o almighty and eternal god look upon the heart of your dearly beloved son and upon the praise and satisfaction he offers you on behalf of sinners and being appeased grant pardon to those who seek your mercy in the name of the same jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit world without end amen Let us pray O God who in this wonderful sacrament has left us a memorial of thy passion grant us we beseech thee so to venerate the sacred mysteries of thy body and blood that we may ever perceive within us the fruits of thy redemption who lives and reigns forever and ever amen
the divine praises all together. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Thank you.